What's going on guys? So, as promised, World War Z. So, let's get to talking about World War Z. There's supposed to be an update today, which there was, but nothing new. What's going on? There's supposed to be a new map and a new zombie type, um, but there's not even a trailer out, so I don't know if it's today. Like, uh, like they're supposed to drop today or not? No clue. What I do know is, is that it is coming this month. There's not a lot of time left this month, so I don't really know what the holdup is. It's a little, it's a little weird, but as always, I am enjoying this game. I enjoy it every time I, I hop on. It's just a lot of fun. You know, there's nothing more satisfying than just mowing down hordes and I mean hordes of zombies tons of zombies it's ridiculous it's just a lot of fun I don't know how else to say it I just have a lot of fun any anytime I'm on here now your your experience will vary you know depending on who you play with which is how every game is to be honest you know but I was just really looking forward to, you know, a third mission to Tokyo. Tokyo was one of my favorite, my favorite, um, um, areas to play in, you know, it was just a lot of fun. I don't know why, but it was one of my favorite places to play in. So I was really looking forward to a third map and I still have high hopes that it is coming still because they have announced it themselves that a free DLC was coming out. Now, they did do a lot of patch improvements, a lot of savability um, issues were fixed. I didn't really notice any that much, um, but they apparently they did, they did fix those things. But for a 15 gigabyte update, something has to be coming. There's no way. It's 15 gigabytes of patches. There's absolutely no way. This isn't Fallout 76. Like, it's just not. That's just not a thing. You know what I mean? Patches, if it was like a patchwork update, it'd probably be like, I don't know, six gigabytes maybe, which is kind of big too. But like six gigabytes, I mean, that seems pretty reasonable for a patchwork update. You know, for anywhere from like four to seven, I think is pretty reasonable. You know, but 15? Nah, something has to be coming. There has to be something new. Uh, we'll just have to wait until it gets released, I guess, you know? So, anyways, guys, not much to really talk about until, obviously, the new map drops. I will be staying on top of that. I will do my best to be the first one to get that information out to you guys. If you guys are playing this, Kudos to you guys for supporting this game. Like I said, it deserves a lot more attention than what it's getting. It's it's just an underrated game, man. It's another one of those underrated games that are flying right under the radar. I can name a few of them, you know what I mean? Like Titanfall 2. That was super underrated. If you guys never played Titanfall 2, holy shit, you guys missed out. Uh, oh, damn, I forgot about that part. But, um... It's just a lot, man. Like Red Faction Guerrilla. That's a pretty underrated game. And it's an amazing game. Storyline. Just one of the best out of the Red Faction series. And there's quite a bit of Red Faction games. I think there's like four or five. There's a lot. But anyways, guys. I'm going to uh, get a Days Gone video rolling as soon as I'm done with this. So look forward to Days Gone and story time. And I did mention story time is going to be super interesting in my little vlog that I did. I, well, I don't know if I'd consider it a vlog, but it's definitely something to look forward to. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you guys don't mind hitting that notification bell just to stay up to date with everything that I do. And so you never 
so you never ever miss a video that was a little tongue twister there but anyways guys i'm outie thank you guys so much peace out